everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video it's going to be an updated version of how to save your configuration and your topology inside of GNS3. And by updated, I mean it's going to be a two-part video. This part is about saving your configurations. In part two, I'm going to show you how to get your configurations back. So we've got our three router topology up. This is from a previous video. And we've already configured our routers. I'm going to just pull in one of these console windows. So you can see there, I've got a decent configuration. It's, it's not that bad. It's probably just like five lines of configuration. But, you know, it's something we might want to save. Maybe we don't want to keep typing this in. So the first step to saving your GNS stuff is you go into your console windows and you've got to do a copy run start or a write mem. They basically do the same thing. So go to R1, do WR, go to R2, WR, and go on R3, WR. This is a very, very important step. You need to save your configurations inside of the virtual router before you can extract them out and save them to a folder on your computer. So we've done that. Now this is a two-step process in saving because you can save the configurations, and that's going to save the configurations for R1, R2, and R3. But what you also need to do is you want to save the topology, which is what you see here. This nice drawing with the loopbacks and all that stuff. If you just save the configurations, well, it's a start, but you probably want to save both. So to save the actual topology that you see here, you're going to go up to File, Save As. And you're going to find a folder that you like. So let's say Meetup, Topologies, and three in a line. And I've already saved it there. You would just give it a name that makes sense to you and save it. So once you have the topology saved, it's going to make a .NET file in that folder, which is cool. And now what you're going to do is you're going to save the configurations, the router configurations, by clicking on this icon right here. It's a blue arrow pointed to, looks like, 2 o'clock. Click on that, and then click on Extract to a Directory. Whoops extract to a directory, click OK, find that same folder that you saved the topology. So I've got meetup, topologies, three in a line, and click OK. After you do that, you might want to do a quick verification by going up here. So I'm going into my topologies folder, three in a line, double click, and you should see r1.cfg, r2.cfg, and r3.cfg. If you want, you can double click on them and Notepad will open up, hopefully. And you can see your configurations right there. It's always good to verify that what you've done actually worked and a file actually saved to those folders. Okay, so that was a quick and easy video of saving your GNS topology, that .NET file, and saving your router configurations. In part two of this video, I'm going to show you how to get those configurations back. Thanks for watching.